We're going to discuss how to properly sight in your DSG for the upcoming hunting season. First thing we got to do is get a good solid rest, the rear sandbag. Going to set it up on the bench and then we have to address the bench itself. We need to get the bags in the right position. We got to see if the bench is really sturdy, get everything right. I have with me today a uh, Jesse. He is going to help me demonstrate how the proper way to sight in these slug guns. Have a seat, Jesse. We need to get halfway comfortable. Turn your body to the bench a little bit. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to lay on this part of the bench with your rib cage. We don't want to have pressure on the bench because when the gun goes off, it'll go like that to the gun. We have to be sitting comfortable and upright that we can pull that gun straight back into our arms and have the recoil of the gun come straight back. That's the whole key. So we'll put these bags in the right position. I think you need to slide up and a little bit. Get comfortable looking down there. Let me take one of the DSGs we got here and we'll see, we'll get it set up properly. Two things you have to consider when setting up your bags is the sling swivel studs on both ends of this gun any gun you're shooting off the rest, you cannot allow these studs to dig into your sandbags because that'll distort the gun's recoil also. The whole key is everything we're doing here is to make the gun come straight back. That's what we're after. So you gotta be conscious of this. We'll close this with no round in it. Now, you wanna take this stud, put it right here on the back of the bag. We wanna make sure we have ample room here that we don't slide back and dig into this bag. Now, I just want you to kind of snuggle up around it like you were gonna shoot it, but you gotta tell me if you're putting pressure on the bench here with your rib cage. Are you comfortable pulling it back into your arm? When you pull back, do you feel comfortable? Yeah. You can't be laying on the bench one way or the other. Yeah. We have enough room here to get your hand around the gun to get a good grip. Yeah. We'll slide that back. Now, see if you're on target. Now, if we have to move it, we can move the rest. Right, well see, that's the key. We need to get this comfortable so you don't have to reach for it. Okay. Is that in a, a good, comfortable position? We'll just take this, bump that down. Now the rest is tight. Okay. All right, now, what I want you to do is take a hold of this gun, put your hand up here. On the pump guns, we have to torque this forend counterclockwise because the natural torque of the bullet moving down the barrel is spinning this way. The gun's wanna, gonna wanna go the other way. We gotta stop that. Okay. So we just turn it over, and while you're holding it over, you pull back with both arms. Basically, what you really need to do is simulate the way you're gonna hold it in a tree stand because Anything you do here, if you don't duplicate it in the field, the gun is going to react different when it goes off. Like an example, if you took this hand, brought it back here, shot the gun, left it jump in the air, you'd start turning down the telescope to lower that shot on the target. By the time you got it down on your bullseye, you say, okay, my gun's sighted in. When you go back out in the field and take a hold of that, now you're holding the gun down. It's not coming up, particularly if you're shooting downhill, you're gonna shoot the leg off of the deer and wonder why you shot so low. It was because you zeroed the gun leaving it jump. So you gotta be comfortable as to how you would hold it in a tree stand, pull it back into your arm, hold that pressure, and fire the gun. Okay. Any questions on how? What we're doing? Okay, let's put our earmuffs on and give it a whirl. Okay, you want to open up the gun. Here's a round. Okay, again, next thing you want to do is check your studs right off the bat. Get into that good position, get a hold of the gun, torque this over, check your eye relief. Eye relief, I can't see with your hat. Okay. You okay? Yep. All right, when you're comfortable pulling back, you're not leaning on the bench. 
Let's see how it works. All right. Now that's the way you zero a DSG slug gun. For more detailed information on how to shoot and zero your slug gun, go to the shooting resources page at tarhunt.com.